an Afghan appeals court has quashed death sentences imposed on four men for their part in the mob killing of a young woman in Kabul in March. Farkunda Malikzada was attacked at an Islamic shrine after being falsely accused of burning a copy of the Quran. She was stoned to death, her body was run over by a car and set on fire. The court also acquitted the keeper of the shrine. Family members and rights activists have expressed outrage at the decision, which was taken in secret. Wednesday's appeal court hearing in Kabul was held behind closed doors. Judge Ali Masir Murid told the BBC that three of the condemned men had been sentenced to 20 years in jail, a fourth received 10 years because he is a minor. One of these four men was the amulet seller Zion Uddin, who had the original argument with Ms. Malikzada, 27, the BBC's David Loin in Kabul reports. The caretaker of the shrine, Amran, was acquitted, he adds. Ms. Malikzada's brother Najibullah told BBC Persian, it's not a court, it's just a show. The media should have been there, we should been there, the lawyers should have been there. It's a real theater. The whole world laughs at the judicial system of Afghanistan. Do the judges have families, sisters, mothers, or not? Do they have a heart? We will not accept this decision. He accused the authorities of a tyranny against the family, who have been living in fear since the attack. At the original trial in May, eight men were given jail terms of 16 years, as well as the four who received death sentences. Later in the month, 11 policemen were sentenced to one year in prison for failing to protect Ms. Malikzada, a devout Islamic student. Eight other police officers were acquitted. The treatment of the police was condemned as too lenient, in a country where women are frequently denied justice. Kimberly Motley, an American lawyer in Afghanistan who represented the family during the previous trial, also criticized the ruling. I'm extremely surprised and disappointed. I'm very concerned because this happened in a very closed hearing, it wasn't transparent as the first court was and so there's questions as to why this even occurred. There's very strong evidence through video and through eyewitness testimony that justified the original sentences that were imposed on these men.